More than 100 years since the Tuhoi pacifist Rua Kenana was unlawfully imprisoned, the Crown has today pardoned him and acknowledged its wrongs. Close to 200 of Rua Kenana's descendants gathered at Parliament to witness the final reading of the Rua Kenana Pardon Bill, a law seeking to restore his mana and that of his people. Tianiwa Hurehanganui was there. <laughs> Kenana wept as they were welcomed to Parliament. Their people were victims of one of the worst crown invasions in history, one which saw two of their young men shot dead and their leader, Rua Kenana, unlawfully convicted for resisting arrest. Komatua Richard Tumarai struggled to find the words to describe the pain his people have endured ever since. It's uh, about the murder, the rape, the looting and all the other atrocities that were committed by the Crown when they invaded Maunga Poa to 1916. It, it really hard for me personally, hard to put into words. Um, but to actually put it into words, it's, um, it's probably um, more than I can say. Rua Kenana built a peaceful religious community at Maunga Pohatu in the heart of Te Urewera, but the government grew suspicious of the Tuhoi prophet and accused him of sedition for objecting to the conscription of Māori men into the armed forces. In 1916, the government ordered more than 70 armed officers to invade his settlement and later convicted him for moral resistance. The Māori Development Minister, Nanaia Mahuta, says the Rua Kenana pardon bill acknowledges the Crown's wrongs. We are here because uh, a generation of descendants of Rua Kenana uh, fought long and hard uh, to have him recognised in a way uh, that upholds his mana, but also the woeful way in which the Crown had treated him and the wrongful uh, arrest that had occurred as a result. Nanaya Mahuta shed tears during the bill's third reading as she outlined the many atrocities brought upon the Tuhoi people. Tuhoi recollections of these events are that some of the women were raped by police. This incident has been described by some historians as the last shooting of the New Zealand Wars Te Putake o Tiriri. It is an incident that has dwelt long in the Tuhoi memory. The pardon bill includes an apology, a declaration to restore Rua Kenana's mana and a crown acknowledgement of the lasting pain it caused. Labour's Rino Tirikatene also surprised descendants with a gift, a tokotoko or walking stick carved from a palisade of one of Rua Kenana's houses, which was gifted to his grandfather in the 1950s. It's been cherished by uh, uh, my whanau, and, um, but what better time to um, return it to, to the whanau uh, than on this occasion. 15-year-old Wefetu Temara grew up knowing the stories about Rua Kenana and the Crown's treatment of him. His one wish from here on is that more New Zealanders will know the stories too. I think just our people from Mangapoha to know, but not the rest. So yeah, I think everyone else needs to learn about it. I think I'd like everyone to know what he stood for and what he believed in. The Crown done something wrong and they're acknowledging that. The Bill's third reading has been hailed a milestone for the Tuhoi people, but the journey hasn't ended yet. The pardon will be finalised on Saturday when the Governor-General grants the royal assent at a ceremony in Maunga Pōhatu. Mo te hōtaka o te ahiahi, ko te aniwa, hurihanganui, aho.